Open your feet wide and let's get started. Arms are coming out, now you're gonna lean to the left side, then slowly to the right, and to the left again. Right arm is reaching up to the left side and you stay there and just really stretch it out. And you slowly lower down and come down in the center. You bend your knees on the inhale, exhale, you extend. Inhale, you bend, exhale, extend. And again, make sure your head is nice and heavy. Right, arms are relaxed, shoulders are relaxed, and you slowly roll up. Bring your arms, lean to the left this time, then to the right, and we're staying on the right side. Left arm to the right, lean away, feel that stretch. Reach, 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 inhale. Exhale, drop in the center again, release your head and we bend those knees again. Exhale, extend. Make sure your feet are open wider than your hips. And allow those hips to happen every time, to open every time you bend your knees. Bend again, inhale. And slowly roll up. Hands together, keep your knees bent and just lift your heels up a few times. Keep inhaling and exhaling. Stay as open as you can and slowly we twist towards your right. Back leg extended with a deep lunge. And we extend that front knee on the inhale. So both legs are extended now. Exhale, you back down into your lunge. Inhale, slowly extend to your max. Exhale, you down. Don't worry if you can't extend that leg all the way. Just try your best. You can use a block or books to help you. Let's switch to the other side. We bend the knee in a deep lunge. We hold it a little bit. Really open those hips out, lower them down. And we extend that front leg inhale. Exhale, we down. Inhale, we extend. Exhale, we down again. And we extend again. Deep breath. Hold it. And we're back in the center. Just stay here a few more seconds. Just relax your head. Give yourself a deep, deep, deep stretch. We twist back to the side, whichever side you want, and you bring your feet together. Shake your heads up. And step into your downward dog. Lifting your heels up and down, inhaling and exhaling, and just stretching and lengthening the back of your legs while you're doing so. Up on your toes, hold, and start bending one knee at a time. Again, it's all about lengthening and stretching the back of your legs. Now really push into your downward dog and really enjoy it. Bring that breath in. Running through your spine slowly, come into your plank. Exhale, push back, downward dog. Inhale, forward plank. Exhale. Inhale, one vertebra at a time, plank. Exhale. And again, nice and slow. Back into your downward dog again and have a little moment here. Big inhale, big exhales. Bend your knees, use a little momentum. And we're gonna jump to the front of the mat in a bit slowly lower ourselves down to the mat. Twist up to each side, look it behind you, and slowly back to the front. So you are in a seated position and you're going to roll onto your back and push your hips up into a bridge and exhale down. So it's trying to move one vertebra at a time so you're really peeling that spine off and bringing it back down the same way, one vertebra at a time. Keep doing that a few times. Really allowing those hips and that lower back to warm up. Take your arms back behind you. Drop your hands down, keep your hips in that bridge and push as high as you can. Really feel that stretch. Feel so good in the hips, in the back. Take a big inhale and exhale slowly, very, very slowly back down. Hands under your head, let's get started. Bring your legs into tabletop. And we're crunching to start. Inhale, bring your heads up. Exhale down and keep going. So while you're doing your crunches, a few reminders. Engage your pelvic floor. 
to stabilize your hips pull that belly button in and try to take your shoulder blades off the mat every single time so you're inhaling up exhaling down hold the inhale up and exhale one leg at a time into a diagonal make sure again you stabilize those hips and keep inhaling and exhaling really pulling that belly button in keep breathing and extending those legs one at a time now we go for both legs inhale extend them exhale tabletop inhale extend exhale exhale keep your shoulder blades off the mat come up into a seated position keep your hands behind your head now we're gonna roll down so you roll back and you lift your legs up to tabletop and you come back up into a seated position and down knees up exhale roll up down on your back knees up exhale roll up twist to the side each side keeping your knees facing the front keep your spine straight for now and just inhale and exhale really focusing on those obliques and tighten up that waist we're just twisting on each side now facing the front we roll away and we do this twist away from our knees right belly button is pulled in to protect that lower back as you're twisting again you can go a little bit slower or you can keep this rhythm exhaling every time back in the center inhale roll back up into a seated position lengthen your arms exhale down and knees into your chest extend the right leg away and we're gonna take that right leg up inhale exhale down stretching and lengthening those hip flexors giving them a little break inhale up exhale down inhale up again exhale down and we hold the leg down there extend the left leg up to the ceiling and we go back into our crunches with the hands right under the head reaching up on the inhale exhaling down up and we're gonna hold it here right leg is coming up and down up and down up and down keep inhaling exhaling keep both legs up reach both arms and pump it up just reach 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 hold and he's back into your chest back down left leg away and we take that left leg up and down again this is a moment to catch your breath to allow that left hip to open and really stretch it out again hold the leg down left leg down right knee to your chest take an inhale exhale extend the right leg up to the ceiling hands under your head let's go how are we crunching oh sorry we're pointing our toes first and flexing and really hold that flex and now we start to crunch up and down so really get the shoulder blades off the mat every single time and hold it up and bring that left leg up and down make sure your lower back is completely flat on the mat while you're doing this really really flat we want to protect it both legs up extend your arms and reach to your feet a few times and bring your knees down into your chest feet down on the mat let's release our hips doing a bridge on the inhale we up we stretch we squeeze and we take the right leg up foot is flexed tap the bum down inhale exhale up we're not focusing on those hamstrings and glutes so let's do it really push that hips up and back down every single time try to keep that right leg extended now we we'll bring the right leg down and back up on the inhale down exhale up inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale down exhale up hold arms up and reach your arms back inhale exhale forward a few times if you're a beginner you can also keep your arms down here and just hold that position and focus on your breath arms back up we hold it there we fold the leg down and we bring our arms down left leg up extended we tap the bum down and up back from the top let's do it make sure you're really inhaling in through your nose and exhaling out through your lips now 
and we lengthen the leg down inhale down exhale up a few times opening up at the hips making sure the belly button the core is nice and tight and engaged leg up we hold it there again level one you can keep your arms down level two we take the arms back and up again always with that breath inhaling and exhaling squeeze and hold it up bring the leg down take an inhale and slowly lower your hips down that's a good one for the glutes and hamstrings catch your breath bring your knees into your chest and legs up into a diamond knees are open hands on the knees inhale come up into a crunch exhale down and keep going a few more times really pushing your chest down towards your hips now hold it extend your legs and bring them back into that diamond while you're holding that crunch position so you extend into that diagonal and back out into that diamond with the legs extend and hold the leg there and back to tabletop head down back into the diamond again and we're back into our crunches heads up head down try not to move your knees they're opening in a tabletop but with the knees open now we extend the legs holding that crunch and bringing them back into the diamond inhaling and exhaling i'm struggling here <laughs> legs extended and back down catch your breath this is a tough one the diamond is a tough one but so good for your core push your hips up catch your breath again and exhale back down again inhale up exhale slowly down all right use all momentum to flip it up forward into a standing position at the front end of your mat you're gonna step that left foot back right one forward and you're on a lunge both knees are bent to 90 degrees angle we're gonna bring that back foot to the front and tap the inhale exhale back inhale and exhale while you're doing this don't come up and down try to keep the same height and really engage those legs last one hold it at the front stay as low as you can and step back again with that left foot back and now we're bouncing coming down and up not extending the legs just about an inch extend the arms up take a big inhale and exhale just hold it there just keep breathing and lengthen the back leg lean forwards and hold and step to the front shake your legs up and let's do the other side we step the right leg back, left foot forward, catch your breath, 90 degrees angle, back knee right under the back hip. And we step the foot forward and back, let's do it. So you inhale and exhale again, stay, stay at that height because that way you're really engaging your quads and we're really working on those thighs, you know, we're building strength in them. Forward and we hold, staying as low as we can, inhaling and exhaling. And we step back again. Hands together, and we're bouncing a few inches, or rather a little inch down, keeping those knees bent, inhaling and exhaling. Extend your arms up and freeze and hold it here. Extend the back leg, lean forward. Keep that lower back super flat. Very slowly step down into your plank. And we're tapping the knees down and up very slowly. If you're level one, you can go one knee at a time. If you're level two, try with both knees so you hold the plank. You just bring the knees down as close to the mat as you can. This is such a great exercise for your lower abs but also for your full body, like such a great exercise to engage that whole body. So inhaling and exhaling, we're just tapping the knees down and then extending them again. Back into our plank, we hold the plank. And we back up into a downward dog, 
stretch it out and catch your breath. Slowly back down into your plank, we bring the right knee in to tap each elbow, then we extend the leg back again. Inhale and exhale, extend, tap, tap and back. Downward dog again, catch your breath. Exhale back down, other side. You tap, tap, extend, tap, tap, extend. So make sure you're tapping across and then opening towards each elbow back down into your plank and up into your downward dog to catch your breath walk your hands back keep that downward dog very small how are we going for the downward dog push-ups you bend in your elbows to bring that head as close to the mat as you can this is great for your upper body keep pushing this is a tough one I always struggle after six I'm like dead <laughs> Really breathe in and out when you're doing this. Inhaling down, exhaling up. Give me as many as you can. And catch your breath. Catch your breath. Big, big inhale, big exhales. Very slowly bring your knees down. And sit back in your child pose and have a little stretch. Have a little breather. Catch your breath. We back up into our four point kneeling, hands right under your shoulders. We're gonna open the knees, starting with the right knee, opening out to the side and closing. So engaging our inner thighs to draw that knee right back in. Back is nice and flat, belly button is pulled in. Last one, take the knee up and hold it. Extend the leg to the back and bring the knee back to the side. Extend back, knee out to the side. Inhaling and exhaling. Make sure there's no movement in your lower back, right? That back is as flat as you can have it. The knees back to the side and we're pumping. We're pulsing that knee up a few inches. Hold it up and slowly down. To the other side. Let's go. Inhale, open out. Exhale, close it down. Keep inhaling and exhaling. There's nothing is moving, just that knee coming out. Make sure you're not arching that lower back. And try to keep your center. Don't lean to the opposite side. Now we extend the leg to the back and we bring the knee to the side again. Push back with your heel. So you're engaging all those back leg muscles. And extending and bringing it back out to the side, crushing those side abs. Last one, knee to the side, we pump it up a few times. Inhaling and exhaling, we hold the last one. Feel the burn. Extend the leg to the back and bring your knee down. Woo! Catch your breath. We're almost there. Into your tabletop. Bring your knees off the mat an inch and start pulsing in. So you're bringing those knees in, almost if you had a ball in between your knees and you're pulsing against that ball. Again, keep inhaling and exhaling. Try not to drop down towards the mat, but keep pushing yourself away from your hands and hold that back flat. Keep your core engaged. Bring your knees down. Now we're back again. We extend the left leg back this time. And we're coming down into our push-ups. So you're reaching the chin to the front of the mat very slowly. Exhaling up. Don't worry if your chin is not coming all the way down. Just go as close as you can. Now push back into your downward dog and take that right leg up to the ceiling and back down. Very slowly up to the ceiling and back down. And bring your knees back down again. Adjust your hands. Extend the left leg back into our push ups. Chin to the front of the mat. close to the mat as we can and we push back into our downward lock 
left leg up and down up and down up and down up and down keep breathing last one stretch it out and bring it down hold that downward dog and then bring your knees down very slowly get your breath we're almost there take a big inhale take a big inhale and come off your hands back into your child pose let's have a quick cool down here you can follow my cool down or you can just stay there if you need a little more minute to recover we can press pose just catch your breath you're gonna stay in your child pose and just interlock your fingers at the back bring your arms back and trying to see if you can grab your hands together and lift your arms up and stretch those shoulders a little bit take them as high as you can keep breathing run through your spine but make sure your body weight is not on your neck right your body weight is still at the back there on your legs and slowly roll up I hope you're feeling good I hope you feel energized shake your head about and feel free to continue a cool down and just twist and stretch anything you want to stretch your arms your legs um, and thank you so much for following I will see you very soon.